No, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Please tell me it's Tuesday. Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Because I posted okay. Tuesday. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, it's Tuesday. I'm going to do some scooting. Scoot I got scoot. a little adjustment. I guess you're going to sit on your pillow today. <laughs> yeah. The pictures that um, come up when I'm scooting up in these first moments is not pretty. No? Why? Oh, I have a little something on my forehead. Look at that. Oh, that's called um, the <laughs> hairspray on my phone. <laughs> They can't see it. No, they can't see but it. But I've got like a Harry Potter mark on my forehead right now. <laughs> What's a Harry Potter mark? You know Harry Potter? No, has... I never watched I don't it. know Harry Potter much either, but I do know he has a mark. And no one else can see it but me. It's quite hilarious. Good morning. Okay, I do have to scrape it off. It is, um, yeah, you do. Oh, okay, hello, good morning. I'm giving you a hug. It's extra. It's just, that's what it is. It's, I feel like it's extra dark today. Well, well it, it is very gray. It's uh, very dark and gray yep. on this Michigan it morning. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Kim. <sighs> Good morning. Cynthia. Uh, Annette. Good morning. Mama. Your mom just Where is that? Down. Oh, good morning, Mom. It's my dad's birthday. Today is the official it birthday is. day. Yeah. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. They're going to Frankenmuth to spend the day there. So oh. I guess there's a place you can eat and they give you free food on your birthday. So they're all really. Like, oh, How do I not know? About I know this? that's what I said to them. Um, and I hope it doesn't rain today. I hope I they have a lovely day. I know. I agree. Ellen and Danal, good morning. And is this wrong again? What did she Jamie. say? Good morning, everyone. Aww. And Stacy, so good to see you, Stacy. Holding strong. Okay, that is a is that inside? Giant is that a fly? fly? He's inside. That's huge, Gungus. We got a big old fly in here. He's a big one. There's like a scientific experiment a, in front of us. I don't think that's a fly. Look mm. at those little thingies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what species that is, but it big. As long as he stays over there <laughs> and we stay over here. <laughs> it's Ugungus. It is Shaggy. Lauren and Linda and Mayana, Christine, Cindy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Good morning, Crystal. Uh, it's good so morning, good. Joy. Good morning, Tara. <laughs> It's so good to be here. Oh, this is great. It is. It's a, it's a great verse today. Every mm. verse is a good verse, but <clears throat> this one is just a continuation from yesterday, but even goes yeah. a little bit deeper. So um, He wants us to really know something. Always does. Yes. Always, always, it's always It's going to be does. wonderful. Yes. Oh, so thank you, you. You still have house guests? I still have house guests. Precious my house friend and... Uh, my family from childhood mm. who uh, were they were my village they are my village yeah. but they are my village and mm. um, my hubby Ryan is doing lots of cooking is he lots well, he's of, good he's in his wheelhouse he's he loving is. it he's we're just sitting it. back and we are being I'm eating a lot still such a it's good like, uh, this is a party week I'm tired I'm very very tired <laughs> But it is really a blessing. My son is like overflowing with the joy of his party. And he's, mm. he's very, very happy. Mm. And the household is filled with joy and memories and laughter and talk. But so I am tired. So good. Yes. So a couple more. Well, one more day. Get to be with them. Mm. And I get to be with you guys every morning. And oh, what a, and I just, you know, driving up to the barn, mm -hmm. I'm like, I work here. Mm. I work for him. I know, we do. And just when we stop and pray before we get on I the know, ground, I and know. it's like, I just kind of went, and I stood in awe in my car. And I just thought, wow, what a place to be. And to be with you guys, and they trust us with their time, yeah, and I they know. trust us with their heart and their stories and testimonies. I mean, truly all, it's pretty phenomenal. So good morning. It is phenomenal. We love mm. each one of you so much. Mm -hmm. Such a great family. Yes. New community. Yep. And it seems like every day we're having new people visit, Tr uh, which is exciting. Truly. And we love having them introduce themselves. Yep. And, and having everyone link arms with yes. everyone. It's funny. When someone says they're new, like they just get surrounded by people who are just welcoming them. So thank you for doing that. Making Recovering. everyone. Mm -hmm. It's everything when you have a community who right. um, isn't divided and you all are loving and welcoming mm -hmm. and you recognize that this isn't about you and I and their thing. Thank they, God. They, they realize this is their family. That's, That's what's right. so precious. Like mm -hmm. I'll see them, they'll, they'll say like, uh, welcome to our family. Yes. Or, you know, and so it's. Welcome to our study. It's, Welcome to this is. is this is a community. This and, is a community, and you know it's God's community because no matter how big it gets, it's still intimate. It's still yeah. it feels small, 
I love seeing, I don't appreciate, I feel bad when people are going into surgery or I, that I see someone who's um, in, I think, urgent care. Mm. And like, they are, they are turning us on because they know oh, God is present. Yeah. And it is the place to be if you're on vacation or if you just can get 10 minutes in before work and then you pick us up the rest um, after work. It's yep. pretty amazing how you guys are really, truly trusting God with, with yeah. your morning. And um, we are here with our Bible open to 2 Timothy 2.21. Yep. So, I'm sure you're already prepared, but that's where we are landing today. We're sitting in, um, in that one particular verse, but we're not forgetting the context in which it um, no. sits in you know we're not yes right. we're studying verse by verse but we don't want to forget all the beauty that we've studied mostly it's going to connect to yesterday mm -hmm. and we have our journals open we do and our, our pen or pencil ready and uh, just this community of mm -hmm. learners we're disciples and so we're just yeah. hanging out with God seeing what he wants us to um, learn today so good. know more about him and we are going to learn today. We're going to grow today. We are. We're going to rest in Him today. Be changed. I, I feel it. I do too. I know it. I know it. Mostly a continuation from yesterday. Yeah. And you, you guys trusting us with typing it out. I am Ugh. precious. I am precious. We're going to be holding on to that. And we, we are going to do be that today. It's got to be there before do today. we. We can't do today no. without it. No. I am precious, I am precious, I am precious, I am precious. I just, I found myself saying that a couple times too, throughout Tara. the day. Me too, Me too. You know, just. Me too. And it just is, it's uh, healing. It really is. Yeah. Well, because it, it delights his heart when we say it. Yeah. He made us, he crafted us. Mm. And so when we agree with what he agrees with, it delights his heart. That's but when right. we disagree and we are knee deep in self-loathing and, you know, he's, it hurts his heart. He made us for his masterpiece. Oh, so he did. That's why you felt the joy that you felt. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, we, and it's truly the foundation of the verse for today. It is. So. And we want to say an early announcement, and we'll try to say it again, uh -oh. but we want to talk about it every day. What? The baptism. Oh, yes, the baptism. We want to talk about it every day. Every day. Is everyone praying about that? Yeah. We're excited about it. You want to oh, tell them know. about it? Oh, and no, I don't. I mean, you go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just wanted to remind everyone that uh, we made an awesome special announcement. God did, um, because yep. we do not have the plan. Our master has the plan. I loved mm. talking with you about that. And one of the essentials here at the barn is girls, we, men, we cannot plan too far in advance. Yep. Our master, he has a grand plan. It's amazing. And, and his new plan was on our hundredth day, and actually that was probably coincidental. I don't know how that all ha God God Not God incident. They're all gonna say God, it's a God incident. God incident. That's what um, it is. But uh, yeah, so on our hundredth day, which is next Friday, um, we open up the barn. So on Fridays, if you don't know this yet, and you're in the area or it's drivable to you, um, yeah, come to the barn um, on Fridays because if it, the weather is going to cooperate, we're always, we're, we open this door in front of us and you guys, um, probably about 80, I don't know, I never count one to one, but Just there's, a, there's the a nice group of yep. um, beautiful people who come and sit and enjoy this study, but they can do it live, mm -hmm. in person, in front of us. Um, and then on the 100th day, which is the 14th, correct? Friday yes, the, 14th. the 14th, that's two Fridays, it's a week and a half from now, we felt the Lord um, and a good friend of ours, Michelle, said, oh my goodness, when you guys talk baptism, I really think that would be a beautiful yep. next, um, she felt the spirit, you know, nudge her, and uh, we already, I don't know if you were thinking about it, and as soon as she was starting to talk about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, is she Instead saying something that I've been wondering about? So anyway, great minds think alike, and we just connected with our master, our heavenly father, yeah. and he's like, yes, we would love to add <laughs> that. I know, I do that too. We're all, we we got to keep I'm, getting Wait a minute, I'm in. hooked again. Oh, you hooked. I'm hooked again. Tara. Her anchor is hooked onto her sweater. It's okay, I got you. you got I got you. What would I do without I, you? I don't know what I'd do without you, so we got each other's back. But anyway, so we're going to have baptisms here. Joy and I would love... Um, we are just, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ works through us and we would love to allow that currency to Ooh. connect to you in a baptism. Yep. Yep. So pray about it. If you would like to be baptized here at Barn 45, 
um, at the 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock hour. So it's right after this. Um, Someone just asked where we located. We are in Highland, mm -hmm. Michigan. Yeah, so barn45.org has a lot of backstory and a That's lot of true. information. The Facebook page has um, directions and information as well. Uh, but anyway, we're going to add a um, baptism ceremony. Um, so we have not, because I'm still loving my guests and they're my, they're my um, priority for one more day, but I will get um, the information on barn45.org so that you can officially sign up but if you're here and you change your mind and you're like, you know what, I feel like I'm, I want to get baptized. You don't have to sign up ahead of time, but it allows yes. us to plan accordingly That's right. and pray over you and just, um, so we are going to do baptisms. Yes, we are. Friday the 14th, which is our hundredth episode. Ooh, hundred days of going over his word. Come on. So I that's just uh, another announcement. We'll talk about it a little bit every day. Um, but pray about it. Yep. See what God wants you, yep. what, what you're ready for between you. This is a relationship with you and God. So he'll yep. let you know what you, what's, when it's time. And I've been saying since I walked in the barn and I'm looking at the camera, I love, love, love that color on you. This is my funky coat. I love the this coat. This is my I funky, the, the almost color. 20 year old coat. Well, Tara's got, I was telling her this morning, she's got like um, sparkles. Like her whole eye isn't this color, but she has sparkles of this color in her eye. She's got the most beautiful Aww, eyes. Her son has so it too. Sweet. And so this like draws out that turquoise. It's, so sweet. It's radiant. It's probably his light that's Maybe like shining I need upon you. But <laughs> Maybe I need a little boost of color but I like today. It. It's so pretty looking at, at you. you in this as I'm looking at everyone's faces and, and their, their postings. Aww, but thanks. it's a beautiful color. Thank you for Okay, that. so what do you I'm think? Cool. Should we get into this and pray and ready. see what God has for us? Yes. Um, this is, a, as always, it's, a, it's a, such a great verse. And he was showing up in, in your life and revealing things mm. that... Um, you couldn't wait to share with everyone, including myself. And I feel the same way. He took me in a direction that I was not expecting. And um, I'm really excited to share with you from the overflow of what he's given to me. Yeah. And then vice versa. I'd love to hear how he shared with you and what he's doing in your life. So it's this beautiful, even transference of, of God's word yeah. um, that transforms and heals us from the inside out. So let's pray. Let's see what he has for us. Mm -hmm. And um, we will get this started. Mm. So, Father, I thank you for you. I thank you that when we pause here, Lord God, that we uh, just envision you right here with us, Lord God. Your presence is all around us. We can't even begin to wrap our head around your, um, your awesomeness, your mightiness, your love, your kindness, your undeserved grace, your mercy. Father, thank you that you are the king of all kings. Thank you that you are the Lord of all lords. Thank you that you are the prince of peace, Jesus. Thank you that you are the the master craftsman. Thank you, Father, that you are the great physician. Thank you that you are the mighty counselor. Thank you, Father, that that is who you are and then some. If we listed all of who you are and what you do, mm. we would run out of time from this time till eternity. It's, it's immeasurable and uh, it's endless, endless reservoir of what you do and who you are. And uh, Father, this morning you just reminded me that you uh, said in Daniel that you are the revealer of mysteries. Hmm. And Father, I just love that. I love that title of you. You are. You're the revealer of secrets. You're the real revealer of mysteries. And sometimes your word can feel like a mystery. And sometimes it doesn't feel like it makes a lot of sense in our own human understanding, with our own human logic. But Father, when we come before you, we don't need to rely anymore on our own human understanding or our own, own human logic. You are actually asking us right now this morning, would you just put that aside and would you trust in my mightiness? Will you trust that I'm a God that does the impossible? Will you trust that I'm a God that peels back the layers and allows you, yes, you, the one who's listening right now that you think that this can't be done, allows you to go deep into the mysteries of what God has for you, the, mm. the depth of wisdom and insight and knowledge that God desires to give even the most simple-minded person. Father, thank you. I'm just, I'm in awe of you this morning. I'm in awe of everything about you. Uh, everything everything that you do, everything that you have done, everything that you will mm -hmm. do. Father, I just want to stay in a posture of being in awe <clears throat> with you until the day I am face-to-face mm -hmm. -face with you. So, Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you that we don't have to come up with mm -hmm. something that's catchy and something that's fun and something that's entertaining and something that, that sounds really good and wise. We don't, mm -mm. I don't want any of that. These, these, this family of ours, we don't want any of that. Mm -mm. We want you 
-hmm. we, want, we want your simplicity. We want your complexity. We want your wisdom. We want your knowledge. We want you, Lord Jesus, because we know it's only through you that we can be whole and healed and the generations, whether it's spiritual or it's blood, will be changed. Father, have your way today. I don't want this just to be another hour Bible study where we're on today and then we just get on with our regular day. I want, as Tara said, she kept talking, as you already know, Father, she was talking to you all day yesterday. I am precious, I am precious. That's what you desire. It stays with us, it sticks on us, like white on rice, mm. all day long. That's when we know mm -hmm. that we have been in the presence of your Holy Spirit. Yes. Father, thank you for what you're about to do. I'm so excited. I'm taking notes. Mm -hmm. I'm watching real mm -hmm. close. I love you. I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Ah, it's a booster shot. I know. Golly. I can't wait to hear what <sighs> he has to say today. Just personally, he revealed so much goodness to me today. Yes. Like, I can't even reveal it with my words, but I know I'm a little worried that I know <laughs> that, that the love and the connectedness that I had is going to come out. But he'll he'll make it. And work. it might come out sideways. It might come out wonky, like we always yeah. like to say. Yeah. But when we get it all wrong, yes, he gets he it gets all it right. right. He knows your heart. He knows what you need to hear. Listen to that. He knows what you need to hear today at this very moment. At here in Michigan at 8.16 in the morning, he knows your heart. Yep. So you might not have the words to pray. You might not have the words to understand the scripture in the way that, who knows what it is he knows. Yeah. He knows what's going on in your world. And uh, so may our words, um, may our understanding, may our study, which is for if you're new, we're just vulnerably opening up um, our time. We're... we're um, giving you a picture into what our time of the Lord looks like. Yep. We're just disciples. And uh, so this is our time with him. And you might read this very verse and get something totally different. True. And that's phenomenal. But at the same time, yes, I completely wholeheartedly agree with you. But even at the same time, I feel like... Um, what we have to share with what he gives us personally yes. is also for intended for every single person. I agree, right? absolutely. I love yep. how he does that. He can personalize yep. it, but yet make it broad enough. Yes. And I just realized I did not turn off my... That's um, all right. I'm coming to hug. Oh, it moved. It moved on its own. Okay. I was going to come hug y'all. I didn't turn off my distractions, which that's, well, a, that's a whole other message. Let's see how he uses that too. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's get started. We are in 2 Timothy 2.21. Yes. And um, open up your Bible. Mm. Um... And just, it, I know it's only one verse, so it's like, I don't need my Bible. It's just, I'm just going to listen to them. Please, will you grab your Bible? Yeah. Will you open it up? Mm -hmm. um, because he wants to reveal something. There might be a passage maybe on another page. There might be a passage maybe underneath it. There might mm -hmm. be a word that really sticks out that you wouldn't be able to see it illuminated because mm -hmm. you're listening just to us. I really, I, I, both of us, I really, really, really want you to open up your word. And there's something about opening up his divine pages that's, right. that's going to, to do something internally at a heart level for you. Mm. Um, so I know it's easy just to kind of go, oh, I'll just listen, I'm doing dishes. And, and there's nothing wrong with yeah. that. Um, but if you can, just take this hour mm -hmm. and allow this to be a sacred time in your life where you do just, you, you yeah. um, intentionally turn off the distractions as much as you can. I know some mm -hmm. of you it's difficult, but as much as you can. Crack open his word. I, I have, we get pictures every day from young mamas. I know, they're and their babies favorite. are like crawling everywhere. And they are still, mm -hmm. their little ones that are two years old are watching their mama open up the Bible and journal. That's journaling right. is, mm -hmm. journaling, uh, journaling is, is so much right mm -hmm. now. It's, it, it, for the rest of your life, journaling is where you are going to um, experience the intimacy with your father like you've never experienced before and I think I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, that today and why that's so important Good. and maybe why so many of us don't want to do it I have a feeling that's much needed to hear but <clears throat> okay so 2nd Timothy 221 yes. you want to read it um, I can read it sure Great. I got my glasses got today. your glasses the ones with the both the do you have it? It? Oh, they're clean they have, they are they have clean? two 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 little uh, <laughs> they're not clean what are these called <laughs> Two, I was, there's I know, all, I call all them the parts. Sides. <laughs> Two sides. What are these called? All parts are there. What are these called? <laughs> the side. Why do I not know the that? The ear holders. Come on. Where's all our smart people? Okay. Uh, anyway, let's go on. So, 2 Timothy 2.21, if I can find it. Okay. If you, if you keep yourself mm -hmm. pure, um, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Hmm. Your life will be clean. 
and you will be ready for the master to use you for every good work. Mm. Mine doesn't have the word special. Ooh, I like that you what have does yours special say? utensil. Yeah, Spe special. It just, just doesn't have special. <laughs> if you no. keep yourself pure, you will be a utensil, utensil for honorable mm -hmm. use. Well, mine says for special purpose. because you're precious. I'm, I, and special. I didn't need it to say special. I kind of like seeing the word, but I, because I knew from yesterday, I am special. I know. I am um, precious. Wonderfully. So I held that in my brain and connected to today, but I like how yours had it in there again. I know. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I mean, I don't even know, honestly, arms, arms, arms. Oh, they're called arms? Oh, these, the arms of glasses? These are called arms? Did not know that. It's like you're being hugged. I know. <laughs> my arms. <laughs> I'm being hugged every day with my glasses. We will use every word for Hey, I now good. look at my glasses differently. I yes. am being hugged when I wear these things. <laughs> your eyes, your face is being hugged. Trust me, my <laughs> eyes need some hugging. Uh, okay, so this verse, I, I, I feel like it can go into 20 different Stay. directions, and I'm really asking the Holy right. Spirit to keep it into <clears> one <throat> um, because it can, it, you can read this from a legalistic standpoint and get really messed up in this verse. Yes. Oh, and, yeah. Um, that's and I, so that's good. where I was for so long. And I don't want to go there. I don't even want to taste it. I don't want to venture in that area. We need to get into the deeper, like we talked about earlier, the mysteries of what this word yes. is really revealing mm -hmm. from a heart level mm -hmm. of knowing Jesus' heart. Um, can I share something that, again? I'd love you to get, get going. Okay, so I hesitated on sharing this, and then we're going to get moving. But it, I, we are moving. This is all related to today's mm -hmm. passage. But um, Scripture... Can I, can I interrupt you? No. I like when you say, I hesitated. Because I know. that's usually the that's, enemy. Okay, so that's why I am saying it because I yeah. hesitated and then got and then I went because I'm hesitating. I probably am going to do this anyway. But Scripture teaches Scripture the best. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why He loves us to know the Word because one piece <clears> of Scripture <throat> from a different book will will teach you what another Scripture actually means. That's great. And um, so I was I was finishing up Ezekiel a couple of days ago. I think I was telling you that. Mm -hmm. And there's I just wanted to share this with you because it has a lot to do with the verse today where it says if if you keep yourself pure, if it's a big if. And the beautiful things that can happen to us when we keep ourselves pure. We'll go into what does pure look like? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. But um, ultimately, when I think of something pure, you think of like clean, pure, undefiled water, right? And God tells us that he's our living water. Mm -hmm. And everything that um, gives life is from this living water. And there's a well that never runs dry. And um, for so long, I was searching for that living water and going to all the wrong wells and realizing that every well that I went to, all the counterfeit comforts, all the, the idols in my life, all the strongholds, it actually ended up being a, a well that was dry and found myself having to live and operate in that, that dark, mm -hmm. slimy well and um, trying to get nourishment from the muck and the grime and yeah. the mud on the walls. Yeah. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. But when I met <clears throat> and found the, the enoughness of Jesus' love, um, it was a well that just kept nourishing me and, and um, providing um, vitamins for me mm. and, the, and just the, the most um, satisfying water, refreshing water for me. So Ezekiel says this, it's Ezekiel 49, or 47, 1 through 12. I'm just going to summarize it up. Don't log off because this is so important. Basically, it's, it's, it's a vision that this man called Ezekiel had, and um, God, took him to, God took him to the temple and he said, Ezekiel, when you're about to walk into the temple, which is, which is Tara, it's you now. You are the temple. Mm -hmm. We are the temple. Mm -hmm. You are precious. You are beautiful. You are sacred. You are the temple of God. And um, he said, uh, um, Ezekiel, there's water that's underneath this bridge that goes into the temple. And if you look around at all the gateways into the temple, you're going to find this beautiful living water. He goes, what I want you to do is I want you to follow that living water. And so he follows it, mm. and he sees that this beautiful living water is flowing outside from the temple. And then it flows out into the desert that's surrounding this beautiful temple, this desert that's parched, and it needs water. Basically, it's the world that we live and operate in. It's just a dark, um, dry, parched land, mm. right? And it needs God's living water. And so God takes him over there, and he says that it, he takes him like 1,700 feet and every 1700 feet he goes the water gets deeper so 1700 feet would be like it's almost six football fields okay. and every six football fields away it gets deeper and he said it was mm. to my ankles when it was at the temple and then I went 1700 feet later and it was now to my knees and then I went 1700 feet later and it was now to my waist and then I went 1700 mm. feet later and now it was I he said it was above my head mm. but it, it spread like wild by year, mm. like wild flowers, this living water, and it got deeper as it went away from us. 
Wow. So the more that we, we and so uh, there's more good. to this, but the more that we are allowing his living water in us and it comes out of us in this pure form, we might just see that it's just an, it's ankle level for, for people around us. Mm. But it has this ripple effect and it goes out into the community. It goes out into the states. It goes out into the countries. It goes out and it gets deeper and deeper and mm. deeper and people can then thrive. And this is what it said. Then Ezekiel said, God took me to the edge of the water. I got to see how it just had this ripple effect of what God did in my life. Mm. What God did in my holy temple It's having this ginormous, make no sense ripple effect. Mm. And it's and then he said that there were these trees that were lined up for miles on either side of this living water. Hmm. And remember, God has told us in his word over and over again that we are like oak trees planted by a riverside. Our roots go deep into his living water so that if there is a drought, we will not wither. Hmm. And this is, this is, again, this is what it says that uh, there will... Um, uh, there was fruit trees on either side and the leaves never withered and their fruit was always produced And he said with this water. He said there will be swarms of living things wherever the water flows hmm. And then it said life will flourish wherever this water flows There will be a new crop every month for they are watered by the river flowing Amen. from the temple yeah. So I just want to encourage you with that But we're about to venture into this this message on why it's so important that we today It's not just about us it's about the generations that follow us. It's about, it's about the people that you will never meet until you're face to face with them in heaven. It's about, it's about this living water that he's providing for us. It doesn't stay stagnant. It doesn't stay stuck in us. It flows mm. through us. And then God alone is the one who takes that living water and flows it amongst his earth. And, it, and the water gets deeper and deeper and deeper the further it goes from us. It's like that ripple effect that we continuously talk about. Oh. So that again, it's just scripture teaching scripture, and this one brought um, brought this verse for me mm. into a whole new whole new light. So I hope that I hope that blessed you as much as it did me. But I think it's a good I think it's a good um, you know doorway into yeah. the, the verse that we're talking about. I think about that's today. A, that that's where I started too. Um, if you keep no, that is not where I started. But real quick, somebody it, asked what oh. it was Ezekiel 47, 1 through 12. Mm -hmm. But what I, I, I also, when I read, if you keep yourself yeah. pure, yep. you will be. And immediately I wrote the word purity and I cared about the word if, where yes, it's a decision. It is it's a decision. A big word. It is a really big choice. God doesn't force us to do anything. And so I did circle the word if in my Bible. But I didn't stay there. I went to the word purity, and my mama heart of three teenage boys goes in one direction, mm. and and I wanted to keep this personal for me, and in my um, adult life um, this time, and I felt that's where the Lord wanted to take me. But knowing what that means yeah. to young adults and having that purity but also what it means to me. And then even the fact that this is written to Timothy, who's, I think I've read in, in commentary some point, that he's in his mid-30s. Oh. He's pretty young, um, and we're still pretty young, but I'm saying. Uh, but so Paul is, who's writing this to Timothy days before he's, de uh, who, who's going to be beheaded, and many of us who've been reading Timothy know that to be true. So again, the context is really important. And he's writing these words to Timothy as an adult, yep. saying about his purity. Mm -hmm. And then it reminded me yesterday of where he took me with studying um, when this verse prior talked about silver and gold and how mm. to purify and how to bring those, um, get the impure, I'm just going to say it quickly, get the impurities out to bring the truth of, of gold and of silver um, and it is a heating or a high pressure. I and in this situation, it's a, it's a high yes, heat process. Yes. Um, to get to the gold, it's high pressure. It's a lot of excavating. And it reminded me of truth. It reminded me of, and this is why we ended last time with, please just allow yourself to be opened up to the truth mm. that God, your creator, your master, your Lord, he made you pure. He made you. You are gold. You are precious. You are a precious gem to him. It already is in there. 
It's like, it's, it's inside of you. Joy had said it some, some way. It's like, like we inside of us is already this preciousness. And the world, he just brought me back to yesterday's verse. The world puts the muck on us and we don't realize it. Our family situations, the hurt of our parents, um, just, just life, shame, shame, our decisions that we don't even realize they impact us as we grow. And so we, so we're, we are precious inside and we were made before even taking our first breath and making that first decision. We already are enough. We already are pure. We're already there. But then we get covered and covered and covered and buried. Mm -hmm. And so he's not making a mistake. God working through Paul using this precious gem analogy because that is what God wants you to know. And so what Joy said is where I went in a different way is that I wrote down, I can't forget. It's my belief system. What we're working on morning after morning is renewing our mind and reminding ourselves yes. of we are precious. And if you have to say it before you even really know it's true, it, just trust us. Allow us to stand in the gap. Allow Carly and Terry and Zinda, allow them to tell you that truth or Zinda or Terry or Carly receive that truth. That's what is beautiful about this community is we're not talking about behaviors after behaviors and laws and rules. We're talking about a relationship with our master, with our maker. And real quick, that I am precious statement that's truth, that's, that's right. straight from God's lips, yeah. is his living water. Is, and that's, that's right. why we, you have a knowing that you are precious. And when you let that's that right. living water flow through you, yes. it has a ripple effect to change multitudes, to change generations, to change yes. every person that you may not even ever come in contact with mm -hmm. because his living water that's right. just gets multiplied and then it grows, it gets deeper. Yes. So the more that we are able to respond mm -hmm. and believe at a heart level mm -hmm. what he says about us, mm -hmm. uh, it's not little impact. It's, it's, an, it's impactful in a way that we can't ever get fully fathom on this side of heaven. I mean, we won't even, right. It's when we're in heaven where we're going to go like, oh my gosh, that's how you saw me? I know. That's how you made me? And our goal every day is just to get deeper and further and walk that way, walk away from the worldliness yeah. and what the world has said about you or what you say about you. So I want to go back to you because I, I, yeah. I just wanted to, connect these two parts I'd love to do that. that we're talking about our belief system yeah you guys that I don't want you to turn this off but I want you to put a really big mark in your journal and come back to this point yep. I am enough I am enough I am enough my master my maker my Lord the creator who made me sees me in a way that I still yet don't see myself mm -hmm. I'm saying that and I feel pretty darn great about myself right. I right. feel really but I know I have more to go in the depth of this pure living water, this, this relationship I have with my, with God. And so I'll stop there for a minute just because, um, uh, I just wanted to go back to that belief system and then go yeah, on well, to what you were going to I think this next. is going to be good to go back and forth because to connect with that is okay. So how do we, how do we, how do we do That's what right. you're saying? That's I think right. is so good. And so when I was looking over that word purity that you're talking about, mm -hmm. I love that Tara just reminded us it is not about behavior modification, but heart transformation. That's right. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for making that the fundamental foundation we are basing this off because that was where God based mm -hmm. it off from. That's right. And it's so key that we know 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 that mm -hmm. because behaviors and trying to to just um, change them and and alter them is like putting a Band-Aid on I and I you know, a major wound that just keeps mm -hmm. bleeding. And we don't want to do that. That's exhausting. We, we miss our purpose. We miss yes. our calling. So I was looking yes. at that. And this is, again, in the middle of the night. I do like when, I like to rhyme stuff. I'm sorry. I do. It's but the way it's the way God. It's the yes. way God talks to me. But in this one, it. he was saying that, that this purity that Paul is telling Timothy, that Paul is telling you right now, the purity, don't let that word scare you. Because he, he is after purity. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But the purity he's after is not perfection, mm -hmm. but confession mm -hmm. that then puts us in a new direction. Mm -hmm. Right? So just receive that for a minute. The purity he's looking from, for, for you, for me, for Tara, for all of us, for all his children, is, 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 a, um, I wrote it down, is not perfection, mm -hmm. but confession 
that then draws us and places our feet in a new direction. But let me tell you, Tara, that right there is could be the scariest line oh ever gosh. told to another person. Yeah. And that's why we don't like to do journaling. And we're going to get to the root. There's Let's so many it. of you like, why are, and this is the thing, you won't know it. Subconsciously, mm. you're not journaling and you don't know why. Mm -hmm. For years, people would Absolutely. tell me that journaling was a game changer because it, it, it draws an intimacy with Jesus. It's not dear joy. It's not dear terror. It's dear Jesus. I am desperate for you. But we know that this is going to be a game changer. You trust us by now. If we're telling you it changed our lives and you're still not able to do it, I'm telling you the enemy is up to his mm -hmm. tactics in your life because he knows that's going to be the very thing right. that is going to bring healing and wholeness and life and abundance and that li that living water is going to flow you mm. to the multi through you to the multitudes. So, this is the thing about the journaling. It takes courage. Why is that? Because when you are willing to be intimate with God, that means that he's going to uh, peel back the secret and sacred and fragile places of your heart. Because he loves you that much mm -hmm. that he doesn't want that stuffed in your temple anymore. He wants your temple to be holy and clean and pure, not because of your behaviors, but because right. you invited Jesus in, who is the table flipper of the temple. You invited him in to flip those tables. The word of God tells us in the Old Testament over, this is why I love the Old Testament, over and over again. It makes me laugh. He says, he says uh, these straight up sins, they're just like pollution all over you. Like picture just like when you're driving down a beautiful road, let's okay. say any road, because this mm -hmm. earth is beautiful and there's pollution everywhere. Mm -hmm. That disgusts me. Mm -hmm. Do you know that that's what, when God looks at our heart and we've allowed Satan to like drop those pollutants and those toxins and, right. and whatever, the cancer cells and all that stuff all over our soul and our heart. It looks like that road that has just been bathed and littered in pollution. Mm -hmm. So every single day he's asking, he's just saying one thing. Listen, the, the very first message Jesus said was repent. He came to repent, yeah. to, to have us call back mm -hmm. to repentance. Repentance is a gift. Repentance is a lifestyle. I cannot wait now, Tara, to get out of bed and come before my papa because mm -hmm. when, you, when you confess the very thing that you would never confess to your very best friend, to your husband, to mm -hmm. anybody, not to another human being, mm -hmm. and you confess that to a holy and perfect and good God, and you are met with thank you. I'm That's so right. grateful that you're not wearing the weight of That's that anymore. Right. I'm so glad you Let said me that out loud. take that from you. Let me take mm. that burden, that weight off of you. I want to carry this. And guess what, Joy? I'm not only going to take it mm. and carry it for you, I'm going to nail it to the cross to be crucified. And then I'm going That's to right. I'm going to infuse you with my very air to give you courage, to give you boldness, to be able to step out into this new direction that is going to, let me tell you, mm -hmm. when you do the um, when you do the confession and you're now in a new direction, it's going to feel foreign. It's going to feel lonely because the new direction might be not with the group of friends that you once with. Maybe it's not mm. any longer with that relationship that you knew is not healthy mm. for you. And I'm not talking about your spouse, but that friendship mm -hmm. that's been out of order. It's been toxic, mm -hmm. that one. But you didn't think you could live without that person, that substance, that counterfeit comfort, that drink, that pill, that place, that, that job. thing, that thought, that job, that mm -hmm. title, that position, that whatever it is in your life. It's a hundred different things for all of us, but you know what it is as I'm speaking right now, that thing. Yeah. When he's told you and he's coming real close and he's whispered and he said, I have better for you. That wasn't my best. Leave. Purity is not about perfection, but it's about confession in a new direction. And Tara, that new direction, I think this is why many of us never fulfill the calling and the purpose on our life because it's in that new direction when we step out exactly into it. Right. And it's so lonely and it's mm -hmm. so scary and it's so fear based. And we go, I, I'm going to, and this, I did this more times than I could count. And I go, I don't think I like this out here. And I look around, yeah. I, I came out of my prison cell and I looked around, Step I'm like, I think I'm safer in here. Mm -hmm. I made, I made it look it's really It's what pretty. I know. It's my comfort zone. It's what I know. And I feel like today God's given me this, um, message mm -hmm. for me first, of course, but also for all y'all. Yes. Can we just be a community right now? I don't know how many, we have 363 people. Can we be a community? Wow. What an amazing number of women and men that we can say today. I no longer will let fear dictate my reality. I'm going to be full of courage. I'm not going to be a wimp anymore. We don't need to be wimps. Fight this fight. It is worth it. It is worth it to be free. It is worth it to be whole. It is worth it to be pure. It is worth it. The generation following us is, is, 
is, is watching and begging for us. They might not verbally be able to say it, but they are begging for us. It says in this word of God, it's a thousand generations that are gonna be filled with his love if one person, one person, receives the love of Jesus. He's not asking for you to love him right now. He's saying, will you receive my love? Will you receive that I find you precious? Will you receive that I find you special? Will you receive that I'm going to make you pure? Mm. Even though you've done that, I know you've done that. Even though you've thought that, I know you've thought that. Even though you've, you've made your home in that pit, I know you've made your home in that pit. Yes, yeah. He says, I know it all. And yet I have still found you worthy and valuable and precious. And I wanna grab hold of you and place you on that new path mm -hmm. of direction. Mm. But it's not for wimps. That path of direction does not say, hey, easy road. It says this road is small and it's narrow and very few actually have enough courage mm -hmm. to take it. Beth Moore likes to say, we need to encourage one another because think about the word encourage. What yeah. word is in that? Yeah. Courage. Courage. Mm -hmm. courage. It comes from courage. We have to, have to, have to be encouraged by our Jesus every single day to give us the courage that it's going to take to walk away from that person, to walk away from that thing, mm -hmm. to walk away from that job, mm -hmm. to walk away from that dream, to walk away from whatever it was, whatever it was that was not God's. To so that belief system that you've been holding onto for a long time, walk away from that. Walk away from your unworthiness. Walk away from you saying that you're not enough, that you're not precious, that you're too dirty um, for, for Jesus, that your background, walk away, shut the door on your own. Slam it. Slam it shut, deadbolt it. Your it, belief system is inaccurate if you think you're unworthy or not precious. And when you have a belief system, what Tara's talking about, when we, that's why yesterday I love that we just centered on I'm precious, right? And mm -hmm. it's not going to just stay there. But why is that so important? Because when you've been going to a counterfeit comfort, when you've been going to something that's not God's best in your life, um, when you have a knowing of how precious you are, when you step out into that new direction and it does mm -hmm. seem lonely and it does seem fear-based and it does seem scary, mm -hmm. um, you're going to go back to your belief system that go, okay, God finds me so radiantly precious. He's not going to leave me. He's not going to desert me. Mm -hmm. That means that this path right here that does not have the easy road on it, does not have an easy sign on it, it says, in fact, it says it's narrow, but this very road is the only road that's going to lead me to life, that's going to lead mm -hmm. the next generation to life, that's going to lead that living water that's going to flow through me and then give life to the multitudes. It's this road right here, but we need yeah. courage. Yes. It's not for wimps. <laughs> what, not. And I can say that, I'm saying that with a lot of passion this morning because mm -hmm. Tara, I know you watched your own journey as well. You had to leave a job. That, yeah. I mean, your, your, mine was different. Mine was leaving um, counterfeit comforts that were toxic to me. Yeah. But I even, I knew they were, but it, I gave my identity over to them. Mm -hmm. Yours was leaving a job where it, it escalated your worth, but it was all founded on yeah. sandy ground, a right. foundation. That's right. But at the end of the day, it's all the same thing, mm -hmm. right? It's all the same thing. But I would go two steps out and then go back, back in and two steps out and go right back in. And, and I just finally got to a point where I felt like God was just going to say, Joy, I'm sick and tired of having to save you. You keep going back and you keep yeah. going back. And he, I've never exhausted God. I don't think we can ever exhaust him. Do you know the, the visual I have? I hope this makes sense. Y'all know I got these visions in my head. I want to say this out loud. So yeah. you have this living water stream visual you gave us yes. from Ezekiel. Yes. And I just pictured what you said, because isn't it interesting? I wrote that about my resigning for my job. Course, because the right? courage that it takes in our comfort zone is because we're going against the world's ways. Yeah. You, uh, Ryan and I get a lot of googly-eyed looks like, wait, what? You left a job that provided this much money. You didn't even pay off your student loans yet mm. to get that very job. You, um, you know, your family function on this. It's you're part of the community. It, it makes no sense. Mm. When people are at the barn, it makes no sense to the world. Wait, wait, you and Jamie and your family of five, you guys did all this? Mm. Wait, no, wait. I mean, literally, it boggles, and it's a good thing. It's a, it's a gentle, sweet thing, but it boggles the world's mind. Mm -hmm. Like, that doesn't make any sense to our understanding of security and, and connectedness to what we think the world's truth is. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I, I, so mm -hmm. here's the visual I have. I have that we, you've got Joy's visual in, from, from Ezekiel, mm -hmm. okay? 
And then there's, I'm gonna use my example. So over here, you got this stream mm -hmm. and it is like, you know, the easy river type and it takes oh, yeah. courage, but we think we're swimming, we're swimming upstream. We think that if we go over here, it's gonna be scary because it's gonna take us into an unknown. Where God is like, daughter, son, it's like the easy river. Just get your raft, sit back, let surrender to my ways, and let my living water take you. Or is, is, could it be rapids? Could it be deeper and deeper and deeper and scary? Yes, that's true. But here's what my visual is. I am digging trenches for the water. I am working so hard to get to this worldly truth and to, to keep yeah. up with whatever, whatever else is going on. And so it's a lot of my own effort. It's a lot of my way. It's a lot of my understanding. I'm digging and digging and digging. And then I get some water. And then I have to dig harder to keep the water going. And then I have to dig harder. And right over here is the easy river. And I don't mean easy isn't easy. But comparatively... To, that's what he said to me even when I resigned for my job. He's like, daughter, will you just take this step? Will you listen to me? Will you stop being your own master? Will you stop having your master plan, daughter? It's not that I, you're precious to me. And you know you're getting closer to understanding it. But you're so connected to the world's ways of defining and agreeing with your preciousness. Mm -hmm. That if you just go over here... And take this understanding. I know it's scary to you, but once you trust and you surrender, it is nowhere near what you think it is. Mm. But over here, daughter, you are digging your own trenches. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, y'all, I was actually digging my grave. Mm -hmm. And that isn't just a cute way of saying it now. Mm -hmm. I was dying inside. I was depleted. Mm -hmm. I had nothing to offer any, my loved ones, and I would go to the word, but I was misinterpreting the word so much mm -hmm. because I'm doing this so much. Yeah. So then I, when I read, right. keep yourself pure, I'm like, <laughs> I can't do it all. I'm reading the word from a place of depletion yes, and I'm digging, I'm so digging, good. I'm digging. And it's in my own effort. And he just wants us to surrender to his ways. And I want to go here real quick. My version didn't have the word master. And, but I read other versions this morning because I felt I wanted to know a couple other versions. And when I, read, when I read Master, I remember reading that word in the past. How many of you, I want to see if you agree with me or not, you have a hard time with that word. I am nobody's servant. Mm -hmm. Nobody is my master. I haven't been able to rely on anyone. I have to rely on my own strength. Listen, that's my story. I have never been able to rely on anyone. I always had to do it myself. Mm -hmm. I always had to be on one step ahead or I would have drowned. That's the digging. Mm -hmm. I'm my own master. I have my own master plan. I can't depend on anyone. I have to be independent. I have to, and this is again my story. Mm -hmm. But when I read the word master, I would also get this twinge of, mm. no, I'm not really big. Even my husband. Mm. In the way sometimes the, the Bible and the misinterpretation of, um, what is the... The marriage because submission. it's the submission. It's like, uh, I'm not really submitting to my spouse. Like, no, nope, that not, that's not happening. We're equal. We're 50-50. I'm not going to have him lead the household. No way. And so I'm, I'm just mentioning all this stuff because if we really are honest with ourselves, and your, your word may not even have said master, but he wants me to bring it up. Um, because when it's, oh, it does say, this is weird. It does say master. I thought it didn't. Your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master mm. to use you for good work. How do we feel about that? What is really deep down inside with that word? Mm. Because if, if I can't look at God and say, you are my master, you are my Lord, I am your servant. You also call me friend, but I am your servant. What, what, what do you have for me? And all he wants us to do is go, boop. Come on over here. Mm -hmm. Come on over here and let me lead you in my ways and my understanding. And you will love the word master, Tara. You will, you will surrender because it's not to my law, to my relationship. Mm -hmm. And to letting go of all the world's understanding. 
of how the world wants to use you and label you and demand things of you. Mm -hmm. So when I surrendered, really surrendered, mm -hmm. I took delight in letting him lead uh, my life and allowing him to use me. So when I quit my job, oh, scary, I have never been more joyful and free and understanding things that I never would be able to understand. My mind opened up to a whole new perspective once I surrendered and just trusted well, him. Well, that's because you're willing to go in that new direction. I was willing to go in the new but direction. But that's, that's the thing. It's, it's, it, we don't understand sometimes that our calling is on the opposite side of that river of fear. Like we have to walk, so we have to walk through that, that river to, right. to get to our calling, but in the middle of it, it's scary. It's mm -hmm. going to take courage. It's, it's going to have to walk through the fear in order yeah. to get to it. And you finally got to that point for me. It took enough pain for me to mm. finally go. I don't think I want this life anymore. Mm. I, I'm in so much pain. I, I'm willing to do anything. If I'm willing to be alone, I'm willing to be scared out of my mind. That's and right. and That's the right. whole time God kept, ha I've had a dream about this and I told Tara about it, but I literally had a dream where God placed mm -hmm. his hand on my back and moved me in t towards fear. And I thought, well, God, you're supposed to be protecting me from fear. You're supposed to be taking me away from fear. And he goes, no, girl. I'm going to move you, and I'm with you the whole time, and I'm not going to let my warm palm of my hand mm -hmm. off your back, but I'm going to move you through the fear of joy because you won't go through it yourself. I know you. You're too timid to do it. But, girl, I have to push right. you through the fear to get to the calling, mm -hmm. for you to, to have that living water go out and be spread, for you to be pure, for you to not defile yourself anymore with these toxic relationships and these negative strongholds and this mentality mm -hmm. that's, that's causing a slow death internally and, and maybe even externally, to be honest with you. You have to go through the fear to get to your calling. And one thing he shared with me on my walk yesterday, I love these walks, but he started talking to me about the promised land that we want to get to, right? We all talk, we all want to get to this promised land of freedom and we want to be this pure vessel. And, and people will say, well, um, I can't be a utensil of gold and silver. I can't be this pure utensil that's ready and, you know, mm. ready to be used because I'm not in the promised land yet. It's that old, uh, old Testament where they were the Israelites from the Egypt of their bondage. They took a 40 year journey to their promised land. So bear with me here to their promised land of freedom. Mm -hmm. I want to just put this out there for every single person listening right now. If you have accepted Jesus, you're, you feel like you're a Jesus follower. You've surrendered like Tara said, as imperfectly as it might be. You are in the promised land. I don't want to hear mm. any more of us say, I'm in the wilderness or I'm still like in that. Egypt. Mm -hmm. No, Jesus died for us. You are his precious gem. You are the apple of his eye. Girl and men, you are in the promised land today, right now. Receive that, please. Mm. I don't like this message that we're sending out there anymore. He died for us. Who are we to say That's right. that we haven't made it into the promised land? But this is why we mm. say we're not in the promised land. Why is that? Well, because I still have circumstances. I still oh, have, so my son is wandering here and I got an illness over here and, and um, this is happening to me here and, and all these, the, right? The circumstances of living in, so let's say just 2020 in itself. Mm -hmm. I love the word of God. Joshua said this, mm -hmm. when they entered into the promised land, Tara, God said, I'm not gonna take away the enemies. They were called the Ikes. It was like the Canaanites, the Mennonites, mm -hmm. the Cellulites. The... <laughs> I got that one. I didn't make that That's one okay. up. <laughs> oh, that wasn't in the Bible? That was oh. a Stephen Furtick one. Okay. Oh. No, that wasn't in the Bible. But all these Ike groups, right? Mm -hmm. And we all got our own Ikes. We yeah. got our own Ikes. Mm -hmm. But when they went into the promised land, God said, I will not take them away. Why is that? Because I want you to be so dependent on me in your promised land that if I took them away, you would become self-sufficient. You would become independent. You wouldn't need me anymore. I want to grow strength. I want to grow character in you that can mm. only be done through the furnace of affliction that we talked about yesterday in your promised land. That's Don't right. let the enemy so tell good. you that you have not made it into your promised land because there's still ikes in your life. Mm. What? No, the ikes were in the promised land. Ikes are going to be part of this life. That's, That's right. why Jesus said there will be trials. There will be troubles. Not if, but when. That's right. And so this very verse, if you're going, this isn't for me because I'm not that utensil. I'm not. Yes, you are. Mm. Yes, you are. And we've got the courage to do it. We've got the strength to do it because of the one who is in you. The one who resurrected Jesus from the dead lives in me, mm. lives in you. And sometimes saying that even right now is it's coming out of my mouth. It's like, it's like, as it's coming out, I'm like, yeah. I don't even like to say that because it was said over me so much in church, and that's a good thing. But it became so watered. Mm. 
But when we just, okay, like those it, words that just poured out, like if we just mm. grabbed hold of them and looked at them for a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. The very thing that can resurrect dead things from, from the dead, right? And bring new life. Mm -hmm. the, very, the very one who is the maker of this universe. The very one who is a, who is a name above all names. The very mm -hmm. one who says he does the impossible because I'm possible. The very one, we could just go on and on and on and on. That very one, lives inside you. And you're going to tell me that you can't step into that water mm. because it's fearful that you might drown? That's when we step into the water. That's when we get to see the signs and the wonders of That's the parting right. of the water. And that you can stay there. You, he maintains and sustains us. Yes. He doesn't just boop and then leave. Nope. It's a constant, constant. presence of the Holy Spirit. Constant. His spirit. His power. That's, Joy, so good that we, we, that's why we want to do the baptism. We want that oh, the proclamation. Living, the living water, immersed in the living water. Yes. We want that for you. I want to get baptized again. <laughs> I, I want to get baptized. We do, we do you get, get baptized. baptized? <laughs> we get baptized every day in his living yeah. water. That's, we all got baptized today, right? Yeah. Uh, but it is, it's a direct representation, the, the feeling the water in our skin and, and seeing it and watching people be immersed in it is, is really what is happening at a heart level every day when we open up that beautiful mm -hmm. life altering, life giving mm -hmm. word of God. Mm -hmm. What time do we have? It is pretty much time. Oh, wow. we, do, we have been really dependent on him. He's like started to slow us down a little bit. Today for me went by really fast though. This is, oh, it always goes by. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is time to probably start oh. thinking of praying. And uh, this has been a great, great verse. I mean, I feel like we, actually we could spend a few more days on this verse. But I think at the end of the day, he said what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else that you wanted to share before we do pr close? No, I mean, I, I really think that he... No. I mean, because if I even started talking, it would take me 10 minutes to slow back down. I don't need to get amped up by I him know. again. I know. I've got, I've got so much more. Yes, I really do. And it is about the use. It is kind of it towards is. the very end. And But here's the thing. Yeah, let's hear it. Here's the thing. I here's think we thing. say that a lot. Here's the thing. Um, maybe he didn't really want us to talk a lot about the purpose and the I use. Think so, too. Because he knows us. Yes, he does. I think he knows that we don't know what he knows in terms of our precious worth. Hmm. And he dare not take us into the very deep end without stepping first into that, that first part that's up to our ankles. Hmm. He is not going to make us take a deep dive. And do you know how many people in this world talk about purpose before their, their belief system is in place? Come on. I am not doing that anymore. Wow. I used to talk about goals. And y'all know you've heard me for over quarantine. Wow. I was a big purpose driven It's like an person. illusion. We can never get to it. No. If we don't first... You don't have your belief system established, which doesn't mean you don't make any motion forward. We move forward yeah. little by little and at the same time make sure that our belief system is where we're working at. Right. That's where we're going. This is the relationship with our maker yeah. to tell us our worth little by little, but we don't stay until we believe it or we would never move forward. Yep. So I just have a feeling that he didn't really want us into the purpose. Maybe he just knows us that well he that he's that. like, no, 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 barn 45 community. I need you to know that you are precious. You are pure. I made you that way. The world kind of did some messing it up and dirtying and the purification system is in my living water here in the word mm. and it's little by little step by step deeper 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 and he just does not want us to lose that understanding or to move too much further without that deep understanding real quick and then i just want to say this because you're talking i'm getting this visual that is it possible that right now that we are swimming in, in the water that's above our heads right we just feel like we're swimming in this living water oh. that's unfathomable that may have come from a different country from somebody else's temple that they chose to fight the good fight mm. they chose to go in a new direction through confession right? Not perfection. Amen. And then through their temple, it started off this little drizzle of water and mm. then it kept going through all the earth. And then it came here in Highland, Michigan. Amen. And now we are swimming in it. And now we get the opportunity to go do that. And each one of us get the opportunity to do that. And then it goes into our family and then it goes into Friends. our community and then it goes into our babies and it goes into their babies. And then it just comes spreading. And as it spreads, it just gets deeper mm. and deeper until we are just straight up swimming in his loving water. What a visual. 
Anyone else done drowning and ready to go swimming with the Lord Jesus Christ? It's a good thing he calls himself a lifeguard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are such Bible nerds. We have that so was many, a Bible nerd we statement. So, right we have there. so many Bible nerd jokes. It makes us laugh. That was really sad, actually. <laughs> That's actually really cute. I loved it. I loved Bible it. Bible nerdish for sure. Oh, okay. All right, girl. We're, I'm ready to receive his uh, prayer. Let's for see. You. Yeah. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for um, never leaving us. Thank you for knowing our hearts so well. Thank you for making us precious. Mm-hmm. Thank you for making us perfect. Thank you for making us for your purpose, for your will. Thank you for sustaining us with your Holy Spirit. Thank you for Jesus Christ who died for all this muck that we unfortunately cling to. Oh, thank you for taking it. Mm-hmm. Yep, that very thing, that very thing, that very thing. Thank you for taking it. Thank you for your living word that cleanses us every day. Thank you for Barn 45 Ministry. Thank you for this community. Just thank you for your love, how it just truly can refresh us if if we choose to lean into it. Thank you for where all of us are in our journey because it will not be wasted. Thank you for um, being our lifeguard. Truly, thank you for guarding our lives. Thank you for knowing things we don't yet know, but we can... um, Find out about it every single day in your word as often as you just draw us um, closer and closer, deeper and deeper, further away from our own understanding, our own ways. Thank you for rocking my world. Thanking, thank you for tearing up parts of my world to expose the stuff that I didn't know was there, the beauty, the preciousness, the enoughness. Some of us are hurting deeply Thank you for loving them and safeguarding them, their marriage, their addiction, their everyday step in a different direction, confession and repentance. Thank you for law that just helps us to understand your ways, but ah, you do not want us to cling to that. You want us to cling to you and to your understanding. You want us to just know your heart and know your ways. It grieves you when we cling to your laws and to Um, a misinterpretation of just how to stay on the right path. Thank you for um, flipping it. Mm -hmm. Again, just thank you for you. Thank you for this relationship. Thank you for this community. We pray over the next um, steps in this day that again, it gets us further from us and closer to you. We appreciate everything you've done for us, Lord Jesus Christ. You are our master. You are our friend. We're grateful to cling to you, to keep our eye on you, and then to do your will. We pray all of this in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, everybody. Love doing Tuesday morning with you. And then we get to be back and do Wednesday morning. That's right. See you tomorrow morning. Um, Yeah. Have a great day. Yes. Welcome to the promised land. (laughs) Take it to work. Love you all. Bye. Bye.